get uh, controlled by the speed. You have to control attack. the speed, otherwise it's gonna go downhill. Round begins uh, in three, okay. two, one. So let's fight. see. Actually, going with the keel, get to the H and G spawn rail, and hit the heavy right away. Nice. So now he will either wait or go for the lightning gun, and yeah, you know, he's trying to deny the rail one one more like. One more try, and he still has no rail in, uh, on his opponent, but now he actually opts to get the rockets over the rail, and I think that's interesting. Because he's the slower player, and playing with a slow guy against the railgun seems tough. Ooh, and the movement look used by Ince and a great effect, but... If, if not for that mega help, Zanaku could have died now. That was very close, but 55% does he overcome even that. <laughs> nice <stop. laughs> wow. Yeah, he gets uh, two frags in one minute, but the last one was a little bit dirty. He really needs to uh, get some items. Oh, he, he does. Do some great damage before he dies, but the uh, ins can stack back up on the heavy. While Zeneku gets the mega health. The, the rocket and pineapple combination actually denied ins the controller, despite him picking up the frag, and that allowed Zeneku to safely pick up the weapons after the respawn. And right now, ins has to really scramble around and find anything in terms of stack because he's still railable and Zenaku punishes that. Forces the spawn, shot Solex feet straight after it. So even then giving away the mega is not that of a big of a deal because Solex doesn't have much armor if not any and then even the mega health becomes kinda useless. When you have nothing to protect it. And right now, it seems like Zenaku's looking for a trap. He does not want to give away too many sound cues, but the slow peek from Inz grants him a, a fresh 90. And the next second peek again, despite Zenaku spamming that angle with everything he had. It does uh, earn him the heavy with uh, that yeah. play. Nice one. And now he's in control, but he's not in position. Green Fountain of Joy. And he rocket jumps up again and he hits the rail. Oh, and the rocket to finish it off. That one could have become costly because he plus forwarded into a keel. And if that's a rocket to pineapple combo, I don't know if he, if he survives that, but... Zanaku still has that one frag gap and... He has the better position, but he has only the lightning gun and... Inns falls for his... Yeah. The speed control in basically because he heard the bounce, but he didn't give a crap. He went for the route anyway and just got completely nailed. Ugh. Yeah, that was the second time that he wasn't aware where Sinuku was and he got a lot of unreturned damage. Yeah, he even felt. So, yeah, uh, check your corners. Well, and use the sound. I mean. <laughs> At some point, this will work out for Zenaku. Good rail. He has not much LG, so he can't really fight a fight like this, but he bullied off Inz anyway with the rockets. Good job from Zenaku. Inz gets away. Kinda healthy though. Oh, and hits the rail himself. Some pineapple spam, so there's definitely going to be some fruit salad for Inz, but Inz's rail is absolutely not missing a beat. What a frag. Inz should have oh. never walked away the victor out of that combat. <laughs> but Seneku smelled blood after the damage he did uh, before he died. And uh, now they're fighting over the Mega Elf. And the pineapples connect, but it's not enough to frag Inz. You catch the frag with the starter shotgun. gun. But still, yeah, they're, they're both <laughs> pretty healthy when they spawn. So they, if they leave someone weak, they want to chase it up. Ince does what he needs to do in a situation like this. 
Hits an unreturned rail and gets, gives himself a fighting chance. This one's not unreturned though, and I don't know if he can stand there. No, he can't. Zanaka had the timing down and Ince basically gave away an unnecessary frag. Fighting with a shotgun just to pick up a 50 against the rail, I'm not sure that's a good idea. And Zanaku punishes it, so maybe he agrees, I don't know that. Anyway. Inns now has some weapon. He still is lacking the railgun and the lightning gun. But he has the high ground. And with Zenaku's arsenal, it could be hard to push in for him. But Inns decides to trade Ra uh, the Mega Health against both of the missing weapons of the Unholy Trinity. And now we'll meet at the stairs. And Inns misses the clutch shot and gets electrified in the back. But the overcharge pushed him something to somewhat a safe position as well. So, Ince is making it somewhat work. Yeah, and he's taking a stance on the Mega Elf. But look at the stack of Seneco. He can just bully himself in uh, this position. And Ince already used the spit, so there is no danger of that one. Oh, but now Seneco rides the lightning down. The rocket does damage, Pineapple misses, wow. and... Yeah, I yeah. kind of can understand that he, he had both items, but he's playing against the heavy and also a heavy hitter. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. True, and dropping, like, heal is not hard to hit, especially when he's not really dodging. But Zeneku somewhat makes this situation work again by hammering Inns with a lot of rail guns there. But Inns sets up a trap, and Inns has the starting shotgun, remember that. And combined with the spit, it will be enough. He steals the item and, and uh, left the, uh, leaves the fight relatively healthy as well. That's a good play from him, and now Zenaku really has to watch out. But the MG, even though if it's just the starting shot, dealt so much damage than the tri -bold. No, Inns can't really show his face. He can take, what, two more bullets before he's dead. And he makes Zenaku leave because he hit the clutch rail. Zenaku was so low on himself at the end of that fight that... Yeah, basically, no one had control. But Zenaku hits what he needs to hit. And I think he will... Yeah, he's uh, have the will have the better position for the Mega as well. So he should be getting this. And he also should be getting the heavy as a consequence out of that. Because Ince does not have the stack to fight that. Even though he had the position. Yeah. A little bit more than two minutes left. And then... It's not lost for Ince. Uh, he has enough time to... Uh, get another frag. Yeah, but with a control like this... And Zanaku can play the, the role of Patricia pretty well. He also can afford to take damage like this. On the other side, Inns can't really. And if Zanaku heard him going far away, okay, he didn't. Inns would have uh, been at risk at losing the heavy as well. But now, Solak has the control button. And this is what I said. At some point, it will work. And Inns just full speed ahead run into all the plasma balls that Zenaku threw out and gave him away another frag. And this will be... Ay, ay, ay. He nailed himself. I come bearing yeah, Zenaku screws the rail. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he's still... Oh, okay. I thought there was a continuing uh, story arc, but... Uh, <laughs> it says no. No story arc. <laughs> Shut up! Next map! Uh, but considering that it was Zeneku's pick, it went rather well for Inns. So now with Inns' pick, we could go the full distance here. I mean, Zeneku's lightning gun was on point, so Inns' pick of the midget Doomslayer might not be the best. But it's still his map, so... He will be very confident on it. Yeah, and on Anarchy we have... Uh, of, on Anarchy, on Corrupted Keep we have uh, Zanarchy on Ranger and Inns on Doomslayer. Oh, Cthulhu, thank you for the raid. I didn't see it during 
first map. Thanks a lot. Yeah, true. Rob, definitely true. And, uh, <laughs> Artis with the copy pastas. Welcome everybody, thanks for the raid, uh, Cthulhu. Zeneco is one up. Yeah. Ince shows us his real life combat skills. Prepare to fight. Throwing <laughs> the left right combination. Round begins in Maybe warming us up for the next fight of Boxing two, Legends, which I'm not one. aware of. Fight. But let's go. This time on Ince. Yeah, pretty lethal start from both, but Zeneco goes full steam ahead and blasts. Inns. Inns luckily has the light armor to retreat. But Zen oh. still has the better stack and Inns uh, ends himself with a rocket. Wow. That's not how you want to start it though. <laughs> so minus one. Yeah. Okay. There's still time. As some certain famous guy would say. And it really is in this case. <laughs> and Inns is doing a lot of damage. But Zeneku picked up the mega health. So it's not too bad. He's still lacking the armor that didn't really do anything for Zanaku having 100 HP. Then. I don't know if uh, Inza's secret love is hairdressing, but he's using the dry blower an awful lot. And gets... Yeah, the rocket is better than the dry blower, it seems like, because it does 100 damage once you hit it direct. And Zanaku did just that. I don't know. Yeah, this well... Game, this is kind of weird. <laughs> but, uh... Your lockdown air, you definitely need a blow dryer. <laughs> yeah, the blow dryer is doing some work. <laughs> right? So why not use it? I think, oh no, this is, um... They're... They're wanting to bait uh, a fight but they don't want to enter a fight uh, with taking the first damage so it's like a uh, <laughs> dancing from a distance it's uh, two steps forward three steps backwards yeah it kind of is like ins constantly wants to fight but he's making sure that he's not overextending and whenever he gets hit by a lot of damage he just g goes away and then he starts to use uh, the MG again. And now he's... Maybe he's trying to damage Zenaku on the pickup. Because he kind of has the position for that. But he doesn't hit his shots. And... He's... Yeah, he's trying to mod the timing on the heavy. And I think he will do it successfully, though. Despite Zenaku having... Yeah, okay. Zenaku should know it now. Because... Yeah, he can deduct it, right? Uh, from the... Yeah. Ones. Like, then I could uh, move the right way to be able to see it, so all the hard work for Inns was basically for nothing. And it's also still that uh, none of the players is in full control, so... There is no bullying into a, an unfair fight right now. Yeah, that's true, and I mean... Uh, let, the fact alone that nobody is really pushing shows that they are really respecting each other and not Ooh. trying to make the first mistake. This could have been a ring out, but that ledge <laughs> saved Zanaku and Inns manages to pull himself out of the depth. Getting his kind of second frag. <laughs> yeah, but it was such a pace, patient play from both players. Yeah. But yeah, we're, it's not turning into a crescendo uh, just yet. Yeah, Zenaku though did a lot of damage on that heavy, so I think for now, for the first time, we really see someone having the control. Zenaku sitting on so yeah, much tech. He... Indeed. Yeah. yeah, I just want to say that I, I saw it on the, on the armor department of Inns, right? There was an inn. Oh! <laughs> Oh, he gets it! And wow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that fight should have never, like, this one should have been one, but the, the fight before that, Zenaku should have come out of on, to on top of that 10 out of 10 times. But he didn't hit his shots, and the 1 2 was just too much in the end. But now Zenaku is in the control again, if so, not in the lead. And Ince is moving the right way to avoid his opponent right now. Good oh, rocket, 71 damage, and that should stop Zenaku's forward progression until he pick up, picks up the heavy. Yeah, and Ince, stacks now. Ince is doing great work uh, of getting uh, the lights. So he's, he's in the perfect condition to fight again. Yeah, Ince is rotating the map pretty if, uh, efficiently, to be honest. And like those, he's not spamming the rockets. He's just always shooting like one or two and he's always getting solid amounts of damage on him. Just look at this. Despite not having any pickups, he did such a good job until now when you get an orb to the face. Because that changes your plans. Or like Mike Tyson said, everyone's got a plan and then he gets hit in the, hits in the face. Until he gets it, right? I don't know. Forget myself and bad quotes that I can't really remember. 100% but you know what I was going to say anyway. Yeah, and I think uh, Senoku is uh, in fashion for the next track if Inz uh, can't deny this pickup. Yeah, he really got him already low before uh, getting the heavy. Yeah, and I kind of felt that Inz was imitating a turret too much at this point because it seemed like... He didn't move from that ledge for quite some time. Zenaku shot like three rockets and moved it a lot. But yeah, quick trade off the respawns respectively. And we're back to the one frag game. Kind of equal stacks. Kind of equal weaponry. Well, yeah, Inz has a lot more armor but doesn't have the lightning gun. So he can't win an up-close battle right now. He does get uh, the Mega Health a light. But yeah, he has to do uh, rocket damage. Yeah, he's missing the lightning gun, so that's a lot of damage he's getting. But the return is there from Inz, and he somehow turns it around. And that's why you play Death Knight on this map. <laughs> because you would not have died if you were Death Knight. Just wow! Again, but the rockets! Two times in succession! Ince's rockets are just insane! <laughs> yeah, he could do nothing but uh, take the damage. He was <laughs> pushed around from rocket to rocket. Zanaku is a buffer of himself. But in this case, he gets buffed. And this one is the big hammer right to the face. 100 damage. And Ince is not stopping. Too frag lead now for the Russian player. And Ince is even is pressuring him continuously. Don't let him breathe. Don't let him restack. And this will be a frag. Ince picked up the item and the light, light armor is there for him as well. He's lacking a little. And the other one as well. Second place, not in a good spot. Yeah. But he has the shotgun. The shotgun kind of is a good spot. What? There you go. <laughs> and he uses the orb to bully himself into the next frag. That that's his lifeline, uh, it seems. Because he's yeah. he had nothing to his name other than that. But uh, it's had a direct rocket. Wow, eh? <laughs> somehow the ranger is jumping over the rockets right now. Well you usually see that uh, play from Doom. Yeah, Ranger does only need one jump. Oh no, this will be... Yeah. He reactivated the orb a little too early. I, if he waited a little bit, he could have... Maybe he would have gotten killed with the shotgun or the rocket launcher then. But this made, made his mountain to climb a little bit steeper. Just the slightly. It's, it's still corrupting heat, but should be going fast. To get frags here. But it's been a rather defensive game so far. Oh, how is he alive after that? 7 HP and Inns is still in it to win it. Oh, if he gets the next, next frag. <laughs> then I'm even tilted. Okay, yeah. good one. Wow, but he's so low. He gets the Mega Health. Can restack on the shaft ammo. So, yeah, he now needs to hunt. 
two frags in, two, uh, in one minute. He just needs one frag. He then can spawn falls, right? So if he finds him once and has like 10 seconds left, it's doable. But he needs to find him. Uh, good rocket jump. And now he should be playing the rotation game with his opponent. Tickles him a little bit. Yeah, he's running out of time. He still has the orb and he doesn't need it to refract necessarily. If he can force the play now, and now he needs to force the spawn. 20 seconds left for the Australian player. Uh, it's a he good spawn for Ince. But he can't oh. get away. Can he? No, he can't. Perfect tracking and Zenaku ties it up with 10 seconds left. Oh, and he, he hears the nails in the red room. I'm, I'm, I would have thought, but... Uh, Sudden death. Yeah, Ince is really big right now. I does collect some tools. And Zanaku has the the orb back again, so the playmaker is back in power. And there you go, tribal into orb into rocket, and Ince's stack is not looking good. That's you it. Win. Wow, clutch. great plays from Zanaku in the last minute. What a serious, nice. Wow, but he left that fight with 13 health, so it could have been the other way around. He put all on one card, basically, but it worked out, right? Yeah, and he also had the, the first map in his pocket, so... Uh, yeah. You're right, he, he, has, he, he has a buffer. Yeah, yeah, it's also... Um, I think uh, Rafa said that in the interview one time, that if you uh, have a map in the lead, then you can take more risk. And, uh, well, Zeneku was certainly taking some risk in that last frag, but uh, it, uh, it paid out.